So shall we begin? And last week, for those of you who are not here, just to tell you, we read fungi versus bacteria, right? And it was a little bit fun. I cannot say it's very fun because the students must say that. And if you want to know how fun or how not fun it was, you can hop on to YouTube because the video is actually up there. Just go to the channel ADF Tuition and you can find our video of the lesson conducted last week, okay? You can actually replay the video again and again from our website as well. Dash Mahesh Navani, thank you very much for coming early. The rest of you, thank you so much for being here. Let's begin so we do not exceed the time, okay? Remember, videos, okay, you guys like videos, okay? <laughs> yes, okay. So today, since I'm not going to cheat you and say you guys can't see the video, so I'm going to share this video with all of you. So this is how we're going to kick things off. So let's see if I can. Um... Okay, now I'm going to share the video. So let's go to the website. This is the website. Okay, all of you can see the website, right? And then we move to primary three or primary four science, both of which will have the videos. Go to details. <clears throat> Great. Now you can see lesson seven, lesson eight, lesson nine, lesson 10, lesson 11. Okay, where will she find the video? Okay, there's one video here, I think. Let's play it. If you can't hear the video, tell me, but you should have the video, or you can, should be able to hear the video. When you want to hammer a nail into wood, a hammer head of metal is good. You need something that's hard enough to hammer out the metal stuff. Choose your materials carefully. Think about Should we see another video? Who's going to say, I'm going to see how many thumbs up I get and we see another video. Uh, videos are fun. Yeah, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Okay, because um, earlier I did show, I do have two videos on this place. Let's go back. So how do we navigate on the website? I don't know how many did you try, how many of you went to the website to navigate? Because last week I told you you can and see the videos over there. Okay. You guys went there okay so of course you may have seen videos on other topics so you may not hit on one of the materials so today you saw the one on materials 
Okay, let me see if I can find another video. If I can't, then we just go back to the lesson. Hmm. Or maybe we'll do it at the end of the lesson, okay? Today we just carry on. Maybe at four o'clock, we'll just see the final video. And if it, no, there's no time, then I'll tell you where to go. Let's see. That video alone was good enough for a start because that this was very, it was a musical. I call it the materials musical, which is what I have on the website. Okay. So back to the screen where the PowerPoint is, so we can actually look at the PowerPoint. Janavi, hi Janavi, you're very happy. I can see your video and you're smiling. Okay, all right. So this is the video page which I played. Of course, there's an, there are a few videos, there are many videos. You can always have fun playing because I don't want to waste too much time on the live lesson here. You can always go and find out where the videos are. Okay, so let's start by introducing materials. All of you know or must have done this topic by now, but the most important thing to know from this topic is about whether we're going to talk about the material itself, the material name or the property. So if you can see the slide here, you have the material name, okay? This is the material, that's why it's called material. And what about this on the right hand side, which is in a box? It's not called material, it's called properties. Earlier we heard the song, right? Properties, it always has a musical ringtone. Yeah, okay. So shall we look through, these are the very important uh, materials and properties that you will come across in P3 and P4, okay? So you need to know all of these that are on this table. So it's much easier than opening up a textbook and then you are looking for all kinds of materials, what are the properties and so on. This is better because you're putting them in table form and we can actually decide or determine or tell ourselves what these properties of these materials are. So let's look at the first one, okay? We need to know at least six. Okay, paper, metal, glass, fabric, plastic, wood, the very, very common ones, which will always be tested. There may be some other new ones, which may take in the information from here and ask you to apply. Okay, for example, transparent. Transparent is only, the definition is allows light to pass through. Am I right? Now, then, some of you who are not familiar with the term translucent may get stuck and ask me what's translucent then. It also allows light to pass through. Oops, two same definitions, but two different names. What is the difference? Okay, what's the difference? The difference is allow some, okay, not all the light. So you can see some kind of a shadow or some light coming through. You can see vaguely what's behind the window, but you cannot see everything. Whereas here, it allows all the light. So that's the difference between transparent and translucent. That's why I'm saying this is not the exhaustive table. Sometimes in the exams, we will give you translucent. Then you must know, okay? Allows little. Thank you, Dash. He said little as well, little or some. So that's the difference, okay? You must know the difference. Right, so let's look at paper. Is it flexible? Can you like make it bend? Is it, or is it very hard, very stiff? It's flexible. Is it transparent? No. It absorbs water. That means does it get wet? Okay, another, you can always ask yourself a question. Does it get wet? That means the water gets absorbed. Sometimes it doesn't get wet. For example, like metals. You wash it, it gets wet, but it doesn't absorb the water, okay? That means this get wet means water must be absorbed. Then when you squeeze it, the water will come out. Like your cloth, the very, very easy example is a cloth. So absorb water, paper, does it get wet and absorb water? Yes. It actually spoils after it, 
You know, a wet paper is completely no use. You can't even wring it like a cloth. What is a ring? Go find out what is a ring. Okay. Ring a uh, cloth. Floats in water. Does paper float in water? How many of you tried putting paper on water? No. Yes. No. Is it strong? Definitely not. Uh. <laughs> because you can tear it, right? And that's it, it's gone. Paper can be crushed, can be thrown. That's what paper is. So based on this, it's very easy to fill up the rest, right? So shall we fill up quickly? Let's not waste too much time. Metal, usually not flexible, right? It's like your metal spools, metal fork. They are very, very stiff. You cannot just bend them and put them through anything. You cannot. Transparent, metal. No. Absorb water. No. Flow in water. Depends on density. Remember, floating of water is about density. If it's denser than water, it will sink. If it's less dense than water, it will float. Okay, is it strong? Definitely, metal is so strong. How many of you use paper, fork and spoon at the food center and then you try to poke your chicken and mutton and all this breaks? So plastic, plastic is not strong. So you go plastic, here is not strong. Metal is strong. That's why we use it at home. If not, all of us can use plastic fork and spoon and throw every day. But it's because it's not strong, it's useless. You only get it at where? Birthday parties when you are having catered food and then nobody has time to wash your forks and spoons. Then we need to throw them away. Some of you bring your own fork and spoon to birthday parties. <laughs> okay. Glass. Flexible. No. Transparent. Definitely yes. Again, glass. Sometimes you can say translucent glass. Then it allows some light. Or transparent glass, it lost all the light. So it depends on the glass type. Okay, take note. Okay, maybe I'll just write here. Glass type is important. Sometimes it can be translucent. Okay, then it allows some light, so it's not transparent. Does it, does it absorb water? No. You can wash your windows, your glass, and everything. Okay, so does it absorb? No. Flow in water, glass. Put a piece of glass in water. No. Will sink. Is it strong? Most glass are strong. And even if you try to take a hammer, it's very difficult to break it. So it's very strong. Unless you use excessive force, more than enough force, then it will break. So it's actually very strong. Just like any metal. Metal is also strong. But yet you can break it or bend it if you use enough force. So we're talking about is it enough force? It's actually strong. That's why we use it. In windows of our cars, our buses, we have windows so that we can see through it. But it's still strong. You cannot just break and fall out. Okay. Fabric. Flexible. Yes. You can just fold your clothes and put it in the cupboard. Transparent fabric. Mm, then I can see your body when you wear your clothes. No. Absorbs water. Yes. When you wash it, it absorbs water. Then you can ring the... Now I use the word ring. Ring means... To just squeeze it, the fabric, you can bring the water out, okay? Floats in water, fabric, no. You just throw clothes. It, what will happen is it will absorb the water and then it will sink. So it does not float. <clears throat> is it strong? Is it strong? For robots, yes. How many of you watch Iron Man? Or okay, Iron Man and all the Marvel characters, they have strong attires. But because they are strong attire, it's strong. So I need to choose a material for Iron Man. So I need to choose a metal. I can't choose a fabric. If you choose a fabric, then it's not strong. Who wears fabric? So fabric is not strong. Who wears fabric? Superman. You do. Superman? I, I was talking about the Marvel or the the superheroes actually superman some of them don't wear metals right they don't wear all the way metals tall batman batman may have some metal parts of course iron man is the best ultimate he wears fully metal right so there's a difference in the materials why do they wear that maybe he doesn't have the ability to protect himself from maybe bullets so he's, he's um, what do you call bulletproof so he wears iron man wears metal but superman he wears fabric, it's not strong, but he can protect himself from bullets because he's so fast. What he does, he just catches the bullet like that. How many of you seen Superman? 
He just catches the bullet. So maybe he doesn't need a metal, a tire or so. Plastic, is it flexible? Yes. Depends on... Uh, there are a lot of different types of plastic. Huh? Like your plastic spoon, plastic fork, plastic plate. Then there's plastic bag. Okay. So in general, the plastic can be flexible. Okay. I do not like Superman, says Colin. Okay, of course I do. We can talk about superheroes for all day, okay? Maybe we should have a lesson on superheroes and science. Thanks for the idea, Colin. One day we'll do it. Transparent. You must join, join me more. Then I, I have more students. Then we do more fun things, okay? All right. Transparent. Because I'm getting ideas for you from you guys. Remember we talked about a voting board that we must do next this week? Let's see if I have time for that. Okay, I'm going to write down this idea of a superhero lesson. From Colin, because he said I don't like Superman. Hmm. Transparent is plastic transparent? Definitely not. Absorbs water? Definitely not. That's why we use it in plastic bags and uh, all that. Okay. Yar likes Marvel. I'm writing all this down, Yar, Colin, because. This will help me in organizing a new lesson for you guys. And I know you guys will come back and see me uh, more often during the holidays because holidays coming, right? Next week. And then what do we do during the holidays? We're going to be bored. All your teachers are going to go on holidays. They're not going to give you HBL anymore. They're going to give you little bits of homework. It's not going to be every day. But I will be still here conducting lessons every week just to keep you guys you know, in tip-top condition just before school starts. Okay, floats in water, plastic, yes, I think so. Depends on the plastic also. Okay. Okay. Wood, is it flexible? No. Transparent? No. Absorbs water? Yes, it does get wet. Floats in water? Yes. That's why a log, you know a tree log is so big and heavy, yet it floats. Because it's of its density, so it does flow. Strong, wow, very strong also. Wood, wood is very strong. So we use all our carpentry at home, all our cabinets, cupboards, kitchen cabinet, all made of wood because it's strong material. Okay. So um, remember, we're supposed to watch a video. I want to see if I can share the video because it, it relates to this slide here. So let me see if we can actually go back to the video. Try one more time. Just hang on, guys. Okay. Yay. Materials one. Choosing materials. Materials two. Not here. Materials one. Properties of materials. Maybe this is the one. Hopefully, restart. And this will be to do with what we just did in the slide. Hopefully, this is the video.
Okay, welcome back. Okay, so that answered a lot of the questions that you had regarding or this slide that we just did, am I right? Okay. So, Pranshu, Pranshu said, um, I thought plastic is transparent. So if you look at the slide right now, can you see I've added one yellow box here? This is the box that asks you, I'm going to color it also, feeling happy. Okay, that asks you whether plastic is transparent or not. What's the answer? Earlier we said plastic is not transparent because I was thinking of a paper plate on a plastic plate or a fork, a plastic fork. You cannot see through it, so it's not transparent. Yeah. But if you take a plastic sheet, you know the one that comes with your covering your books or covers your magazines, that's a plastic sheet. And if you look through it, you can see through it. So it actually allows light to pass through it. So it's transparent. So it can be both. Yes, Yar, I heard your answer. You said it's both. Yes, it can be both. Depends on the plastic. Now, so it can be transparent and it can be not transparent. What is the word that we use for not transparent? I'm going to write it down right below on the right-hand side at the bottom. Spell it for me. Remember? This is the opposite of transparent, opaque, okay? Some of you find it familiar, you need to know the spelling because sometimes we won't tell you it's not transparent, we just tell you it's an opaque material. Okay, so the paper plate, sorry, always say paper, plastic plate that you get at your birthday parties, the buffet, you look through it, you can't see it, it's made of plastic. So it's not transparent, hence it's called opaque. This is how to pronounce opaque, okay? Now, what about the plastic bag that you get from your NTUC? It's white color, not transparent, not translucent, not opaque. Which one? The one, the plastic bag. Some, sometimes it's red color, sometimes it's white color. And it's a plastic bag, the one that we actually carry things. Yes, it's very strong. Did I put not strong? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Where's uh, Colin? Colin, here. Now, this is also another important, because of the material that we choose, it can be strong or not strong, okay? So this is another one that Colin helped me to identify. Yeah, under strong, we can depend on the strength of the plastic. That's why in the questions, we always tell you, oh, this material can only hold up to four kilograms. After that, it will break. This material can only hold up to one kilogram. After that, it will break. So that will determine the strength, okay? So we actually have to base on the material and experiment as well. Every time you get a plastic, you have to test whether it's strong or not strong whether it's transparent or not transparent. It's not a given, right? So that's why I asked you about the plastic bags. Take a plastic bag, try to look through it. You can actually see your mother or father or your dad or mom on the opposite side in very, very hazy uh, figure because there's some light passing through it. So it's actually translucent and depends on the plastic bag. Again, it depends whether you went to cold storage, NTUC or the shop below your, your building. It depends on the plastic bag we use, okay? So now you get the idea. So why is experiment so important? Because you need to test it out. Okay, let's move on. Okay, today's slides will only be two more, and then we because we basically know what we're talking about already, and then we go on to the test, the questions that you were given. Okay, so these are the materials or properties. Materials or properties. Okay, these are not the Materials, these are properties. So you can see I'm writing properties. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven common ones. There are a lot more, but you need to know what these mean. Okay. So you, if you don't know what's the meaning of buoyant, find out what's the meaning of texture, find out, write it down and find out. Okay, because a lot of you already know. So I'm not going to go through it and you know, take up more time from you guys. So let's go to the properties finish. This is materials. These are the properties material that you know. Just now we had about six. Which were the six we talked about? We talked about metal. We talked about, did we talk about rubber? No, we talked about wood. Then we talked about plastic and a few more. But what about these few on the right? We talked about fabric, which there are different types of fabric also. You see, that's why it's subjective, right? Fabric can mean what kind of fabric are you talking about, Mr. Ali? What are you talking about? Which fabric are you talking about? So is it strong or not? Depends. Okay. Then 
we have a few more that are you that we never talked about just now sand clay leather rubber expect them to be in your questions as well and there are some materials that are natural materials some are man-made materials the others are man-made you need to know which are natural i like i did have one question in your homework class notes asking you which of these are natural which of these are man-made there is a difference in the types of materials so we can make our own materials for iron man okay we use a metal maybe some alloys mix the metals a bit make it strong these are man-made some metals are natural right so metal is also come under natural unless you mix them up so you need to know which are nat natural and man-made so if we have a bicycle that looks like this what is the material that we need to make use let's say you are going to make a bicycle for me i think naturally you will use tend to use things that you, you have seen before you're familiar with okay straight away you say oh tire rubber but why rubber why not metal then you think about it okay can it be metal can it be wood uh, there are some problems associated with choosing other materials of course flexibility for the rubber because you can pump air into it and you can also turn round and round you know so they can make it into a round wheel so that's why we use it in the car in the bus in the bicycle and so on so tire is material we usually use rubber and we use the property the the main property is flexibility and also it's a strong material durability it can last for a long time imagine see you can either use the word strong or exchange it with the word called durability which is the same okay which is the same because after all this tire is going to be on the road rolling and rolling and rolling forever and it has to withstand all your friction so that's why it's strong rubber okay the rest lamp okay obviously you need to use a glass or plastic for the light to shine through if you use an opaque material so because it's transparent if you use an opaque material you cannot see the light light cannot pass through okay or plastic so in the expensive bikes they use glass you want to be premium in the cheaper bikes they use plastic okay see see some again different bikes have different some some of them still use plastic okay the very cheap bikes they use plastic the more expensive one they use yeah rubber which is more flexible or a combination of the both to make your buttocks feel very very comfortable okay also must be flexible and comfortable also there are a lot of reasons why we use main main reason is actually comfortable if something is flexible it usually becomes comfortable like our clothes right it's fabric is very flexible so it's comfortable you wear something stiff it will never conform to your body so it's not comfortable which is coming from the reason of flexibility and the frame the frame is the yellow part look at the picture i actually like the yellow part the most it's so like a designer bike okay definitely metal and different types of metals possible some bikes do use plastic very tough plastic depends okay the metal must be very very strong it's a bike after all you don't want it to be imagine you make it out of paper or wood it will just crumble wood is also uh, strong but it absorbs water so it cannot absorb water so it cannot absorb water and so on okay these are the reasons why we choose these materials and we will ask you questions like this on choosing a material and its relevant property and we i'm sure you guys like to and actually did the questions so we will have been looking at them in a while so similarly here i don't tell you what are the parts of the umbrella but an umbrella has its parts some of them are soft some of them flexible some are strong some are metals okay so on and so forth so you can have uh, materials and their properties why you choose them okay you can do this on your own okay like you have the this one is made of plastic why this one is made of metal 
also can be plastic. Why metal? Why plastic? Okay. Same reason why the metal earlier for the bicycle. Okay. Also, you can one more important property is cannot rust because this important property. Why bicycles are out in the rain a lot. Umbrellas are out in the rain a lot and rust can form on metals very easily. So when you choose a metal, you must choose one that does not rust easily. Of course, plastic is a good option, but it can break easily maybe if you drop it. Okay, so metals are chosen for more expensive ones and then they make sure the metal has a coating to make sure it cannot rust. Okay, so these are the considerations when you, and then can you see there's something missing here? What's this? Yeah, okay. So actually this is different, this is different. Handle is different from the, what do you call this, stem? Stem of a, stem of a plant, something like a stem of a plant. Okay, find out what this is called, okay. This is definitely a handle. So handle, maybe you can also make it as plastic because you want it to be flexible and comfortable or rubber, depends. You go look at, look around all the, uh, umbrellas that you have around the world and you can find out what are the kinds of material people and you can walk into a, an expensive shop in Orchard Road and see what are the kind of umbrella they sell in Gucci or, or Burberry and these umbrellas can cost more than a few hundred dollars. Why? Because of the materials that they choose to use it with. Okay. And they can also last a long time. Okay. This week's homework, I gave you plenty of questions. If you saw, because you guys are very, very used to HBL, right? And the questions are thrown at you. Like, I just wanted you to have a feel of the materials question. So I gave you like over 20 questions, right? Uh, multiple choice over 15 questions. Uh, yes, plenty. How many of you actually did the, did the questions? Hands up, raise hands. Let's see. Felix the questions only one raise hand you all do not raise hand and just put a thumbs up <laughs> raise hand is better because it sticks there i can see fine fine you all can find how to raise hand or not go to your i think it's under chat you can raise hand oh now kagan found chubi pranshu dash colin all tried the questions thank you okay I know there were a lot, of, as long as you try, then it facilitates the discussion today. So that's only about a handful, like five of you or six of you. So the rest of them are like 10 of you who did not try the questions. So then you are encouraged to at least download the questions one day before and try even if you don't have time, because then you can learn faster, because otherwise I cannot be reading the question one by one, right? So to facilitate this, because so, so many of you did not answer the questions, Okay, I'm going to leave the questions and answers together after the lesson on the same website where you can download. You'll find the first part with the questions, second part with the answers for you to check again. And the second point is that today's lesson, I will try to go through as many as I can. As you know, we have 22 questions. Don't know if I can finish all, but I have chosen the questions that you might have had trouble with so that we can go through them together. Otherwise, the other question that I will not go through will probably be very easy ones, which you can just have a look at the answers and you can figure it out. Okay? Nine-year-old, 10-year-old, you guys are strong guys. A very, 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 very intelligent bunch. So I do not think you will have trouble understanding after we go through at least 10 to 12 questions today. We have enough time. We have about 20 minutes. Okay, I'll try to end the lesson exactly at 4 o'clock today. Try not to exceed, hopefully. Wish me luck. Let's go. Number one, diagram shows a rubber hose. They give you the material, the rubber, right? They give you the material. Okay, those who have not done the question, please read fast. Huh? Read fast. Okay. Which property of the rubber hose allows it, just like what we did with the bicycle and the umbrella, which property, huh? make sure they talk about the property, allows the rubber hose to be coiled up. Okay. There are many properties. Remember, if I say, uh, which property of the plastic allows me to see through it? Uh, then it's not its strength, it's transparency. So even though plastic can be strong and transparent, you have to choose the correct property. Here also, rubber is also strong. It's also flexible. 
ah so option a is strong option b is flexible option c is waterproof oh yes it is waterproof as well so which of these properties allows it to be coil up this is the keyword if you don't think about this keyword then you cannot find the answer that is flexible understood this is how you need to identify although all the properties are relating to the rubber this way am i right okay you need to choose the correct property so this why it's not so straightforward in the materials questions huh? okay this one is a very very common question you have seen it many times they always like to put books on a shelf because they know prime 3 and prime 4 you're very familiar with books and you're very familiar with bookshelves I'm sure every one of you have put a book before on something, even it be a table. And even your table has to be strong enough to hold books. And you must be able to hold all your books from your math, science, English, Chinese, Tamil, Malay, social studies, music book, art book, everything. Put down there. How to hold it? So you need to test it, right? So Katie wanted to choose a suitable material to build her a bookshelf, and the properties of materials are shown. So she got a choice. Should she choose A, B? C or D depends on whether it is strong or not. Definitely, she needs strong material. So C and D are really out because it's not strong. Is it flexible? Hey, how can I have a bookshelf that is like this flexible? It just bends. I, I put a book and it just bends. Do you want that or do you want a strong bookshelf? Bookshelves are generally not flexible. Okay, skip a question, mate. Yes, I know, mate. <laughs> Somebody told me you skip a question. I know. I already introduced saying that we are not going to do all the questions. Okay, some questions are straightforward. You can find out the answers or download the answers later so that we can finish the question that I wanted to discuss in half an hour or 20 minutes. That's all I have. Okay, flexible. A is flexible. Oopsie, I don't want it. I need it to be not flexible. So these are the answers. So this one is wrong. This one is wrong. So uh, the circled ones are the ones going to be like, is it waterproof? A uh, bookshelf has to be waterproof because if I put my cup of water on the bookshelf accidentally, but it doesn't matter, right? A bookshelf, okay. It has to be waterproof so that it doesn't get wet and spoil easily. So, but all of them are waterproof. So therefore, it doesn't really matter. It does not matter in the selection here because all of them are waterproof so only whether they are strong and flexible you need to choose and then between a and b you need to choose because c and d are not strong therefore answer is b okay very 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 common question if you get the hang of it you will find it easy to answer these type of questions okay so question four which of the following a b c or d will allow light to pass through how many of you had a look at this and thought okay so those of you who haven't tried it try it now Okay, try to shut my noise and just try it. Okay, I'll give you like just 30 seconds. Which of the following A, B, C, or D will allow light to pass through? Will allow light to pass through. Fish tank, spectacles, the part, you must see the part. Okay, not the matter but the part. Any answers? Type the answers to me. Okay. Definitely fish tank allows light to pass through because you need to see the fish and the fish need to see you. There's no point having a fish tank that is opaque because you cannot see the fish. Then you are keeping them at home uh, and you cannot enjoy the fish swimming around. There's no point having a fish tank. So it has to be transparent. Spectacles. All of you who wear spectacles definitely know if you can't see through there was the point of the spectacles right it has to be transparent of course they tell you will allow light to pass through which means transparent right you see we can ask you which of the following a b c d is transparent finish or we can say well allow light to pass through it's the same meaning we can use either or so make sure you know that when we tell you will allow light to pass through it means transparent so you are already figuring it out now part z of a ceramic cup ceramic cup is a cup that we drink it's not a glass cup and glass cup is opaque, cannot see through. Am I right? It's like the cups that we have in our kitchen, the ones that you cannot see through. Most of them are made of ceramic. Finally, part W of a mirror. Now, all of you look at it and say, oh, that looks like a glass, looks like a magnifying glass. I can see through it. And you say, transparent. Now, this way is wrong because it's not transparent. 
It's actually a reflective material because it's a mirror. You cannot see through it. Go in front of a mirror and you cannot see through it. Right? You only have your own reflection. So therefore, only transparent ones are B and C. Therefore, it's B. Okay, at first look, it looks like A also. I should have confused you by saying A, B, C. I should have put, say, A, B, and C. Then all of you would have gotten it wrong. But thankfully, there's no such option. Right? Next time, okay, I'll try to trick you more because you'll be experts at this, then we have tougher questions. Again, similar to the this question, six. Did I skip one question? Yes, I did. Okay, carry on. Number six. These are bricks, bricks which we are putting on a material. Okay, we need to take note of the material here. Where's the material? Right here. So we're actually testing for the materials here. There are four different types of material, E, F, G, and H. We need to figure out which material will support the bricks the best. Okay, bricks are weighing one kg each. And then you test. Based on the information, which material should Roy choose if you wanted to make a box that will be able to hold five kg? Which one? Okay. Number of bricks needed to break the material. After two, it will already break. After six, then it will break. Oh, that means you can hold five kg. Can. Three. It will break. This one, 5 kg can. It won't break. Why? It will only break after you have 10 kg, 10 bricks. So 5 kg is allowed on these two. Got it? Can, can. So F and H are good. So which one should Roy choose? F and H. Am I right? All right, good. You can figure it out slowly at your own time later also, okay? But it's important to know what the answer is and the explanation behind it. Like I said, you can always view the video again when we upload it tomorrow. The picture below shows the food container that children use to bring their snack to school, which all of you do. What material must we make this box out of so that you can bring it to school? It must be firstly waterproof because sometimes you have fruits that give out some water and you don't want this water to leak out of your lunchbox and then go into your bag. So I think waterproof is very, very important in order for it to be a lunchbox. Of course, they say it's plastic. Plastic is mostly waterproof. Okay, so that's why, but it's suitable for making this food container because plastic is waterproof, plastic is light, some more. Plastic cannot bend easily because you want to put the food in and do not want it to squash it. I know a lot of you have prepared your own food, right? Uh, put apple or banana sometimes. Bananas, you don't want them to squash. Then plastic cannot bend easily is a good answer. Am I right? So these are the why we choose it for our lunchbox. Last one, plastic allows light to pass through. Yes and no. Plastic, some plastic allows, some plastic don't allow. Some of you bring plastic containers that are transparent. Some of you bring plastic containers that are opaque. But does it matter? Does not matter when making it. Unless you are the type who, oh, I really want to see what food is inside. But you are the one who packed it. You already know what's inside. Okay, it does not matter. So anyway, there's no A, B, C, D altogether. So it does not matter in making the food container. So only the first three is very important. The last one, not really important. Whether it's transparent or not transparent, it doesn't affect the use of a plastic container. I bring a metal lunchbox crunch shoe. Good. Because why? Crunch shoe said I bring a metal lunchbox. So you, you consider the you consider the properties. Is it light? If you bring a heavy one, then it's no point you are bringing too much weight. So if it's a light metal, yes, that's why they make the lunchbox with a light metal. It's waterproof as well, and it cannot bend easily as well. It satisfies the three conditions on this question. So that's why metals can be used, provided the metal is light. If it's going to use a heavy metal, then we won't use it, use that metal. So it depends on the, right? Now, finally, answer is ABCD. Okay? Mr. Bala, Mr. Tan wanted to build a house for their families. 
to stay in. Their friend told them that they should use bricks to build the houses. Oh, this sounds like the story from Three Little Pigs. Okay, that's a long time ago when you guys were in kindergarten or younger. Why is brick a good material for building a house? Now we need to directly determine the property of or properties of brick for building a house. So you need to know the use of a house. Just like a lunchbox determines the use is to put food inside and not be squashed and not be wet. Brick also must be, it cannot be brought down easily. One day the rain comes down and your house just disappears or melts or it just dissolves. No, it can't happen, right? So brick is uh, has a material that can do all of that for you. What is other material? It's strong, okay? It's not flexible. Brick sinks in water. Hey, if it sinks in water, then it's not good material. Brick is made of clay. Now, this is not a property. Now, this is a property. This is a property. This is a property. This is a material. This is telling you that brick is made from a material called clay. It's not telling you the property. Then you need to know what the property, what's the property of clay that makes it suitable to build a house. Then we might choose it. So we need to talk about, did they tell you the property? No. So therefore, we can't choose D. We just say brick is made of clay. So what? So if I tell you brick is made of clay, you can straight away build it. You must say, oh, you know, clay is a very strong material. It does not sink in water. It does not dissolve in water. Oh, then you can use it. But then they did not say. Of course, then you have to figure out what the properties of clay is. Clay also can be different grades. Okay? It can also dissolve in water. So it can also dissolve. If it dissolves in water, then you don't want to make a house with it. So what are the answers here? Okay, A, B, C, no. You need to go up and see, only A and B. Okay, good. We are on to question 11 already. In between, I have skipped some questions because you know we have 22 questions, right? And we have 10 more minutes, let's go. Uh, below are the statements made on the object. This one, no need to read the question because uh, you can read it on your own. But you can look at the diagram and you can see two materials. One is floating, not really floating, floating. It should be. What? Let me change the color because I can't see. Floating, it should be like that, right? This one is half, a little bit floating, a little bit sinking. Okay, doesn't matter. You can still call it floating. Okay, most of the body is above water, is considered floating. This one is totally sinking, sinked. All right. So which of the following statement is definitely true or are definitely true? When you see this is or are, that means can be one or more answers. Okay. Material T is the strongest. Just based on this diagram, how to tell whether it's the strongest? I can't tell. I can't. Okay, this is basically a Diagram that shows what is density only. It's the property of the material is the density, whether it floats or sink. It cannot tell whether it's strong or weak or no, okay, cannot. Because this is about putting it in water and change, see whether it floats or sink. So A is not what you can say, because they say what is definitely true. Maybe it's true, but what is, is it definitely true? Maybe. You don't know. Okay, is it definitely true? You don't know. Finally, B material T floats. But material as sinks. Huh, that sounds more like it. Okay. So material S is waterproof, but material T is not. Very hard to say. Because both may be waterproof. Okay. Most likely both are waterproof, but we definitely not, we can't say for sure. Because if it's uh, even if it's not waterproof, it can still sink and float, right? Let's say your clothes, okay? You take the clothes and put it in here. It's not waterproof, but yet it sinks, right? So, doesn't mean if it's not waterproof, if it's the property of waterproof can determine whether it sinks or floats. No. Only the word density. So, I'm looking at the word density. It does not give me any density here, then it's not related here. So, that's why nothing to do with waterproof at all. Nothing to do with strong. 
I can't determine from this diagram. Finally, D. Material S allows light to pass through, but material T does not allow it to pass through. Can you see that from the diagram? No, you cannot. It could be a glass block. It could be a metal block. We don't know. So whether it can allow light, whether it can trans be transparent, I don't know. So therefore, which of the following is definitely true? Only B is true. So answer is A. Study the chart below and which of the following correctly represents W, X, Y, Z. Now this is back to a classification chart. Even fungi and bacteria last week, we had this type of chart. Be rest assured guys and girls, this type of flow chart will occur in any, any topic, be it diversity, cycles, okay, or any of the, any of the themes in the science tech. Why? Because all we need to do is conceptually, we will give you some either materials or some fungi or some living things or some bacteria and we just give you some question. You just have to answer either yes or a no, or a no or a yes or a no, or a yes, and you keep on going down, and that's called a flowchart. This is a scientific flowchart. And then you can put question. Now, you can either have answers or questions. So which one of the following correctly represents, wow, W, X, Y, and Z, they're actually giving you a lot of work. This is not easy, okay? That's why I'm going to discuss this, but this is not easy. Firstly, you need to know some answers for W, some answers for Y, and then you need to know some question for X, and you need to know the some answers for that. Can you see where these guys are placed? Let's pick out another color just so they can see it. I'm going to W is here, Y is here, X is here, and Z is here. They want you to have answers for all. Okay. Now I tell you what's the trick to getting the answers here. Who want to know the fastest trick to answer this question? How many of you took very long to do this? Or who can share with me what's the fastest trick to do this question? Fastest. I got D. Some of you got D. Yes, you will have gotten the answer, but it depends on whether you took one minute or five minutes or ten minutes. You can get D. Some of you did take a very long time to do this. Always, okay. Are you all ready to listen? Fingers on your ears. Say, I'm listening to Mr. Ali right now. Count to know how to do this question. The fastest. Okay, very fast. Always, always go to the one item that is at the end, okay, right here. See, I'm erasing and writing here. Which is the end one, the last one? What alphabet is it? Why do I go to the last one? Why do I go to the last one? Must go to the last one to be the faster. Why? Because it answers the most questions. If I go to the first one, it only answers one question. Is it waterproof? No. There are many things in the world that are not waterproof. And it's very hard to find, right? But Z answers many questions. How many questions did it answer? The first question it answered right from the top because it, start, because it came down this way. One, two, it survived all rounds and ended up here by answering a yes to all the questions. So it says Z is it waterproof? Yes, Z is waterproof. Then you go down the arrow, then it answered some other question. We don't know what it is. It answered yes. Then go down the question. It says, does it break easily when dropped? Yes, it breaks easily when it drops. Oh, it breaks easily when dropped. So you got two criteria for Z. Okay, of course, metal also has two criteria, but you don't need to find out the identity. Okay, so let's go to Z straight away. Go to the answers, focus on Z only. Here, can you see I'm drawing a box? Which one of these satisfies what I wrote down here? Z is waterproof. Fabric is not. Paper is not. Got it? And it breaks easily when dropped. Oh, glass breaks easily, but wood doesn't. Hello, I got my answer. Yay! I don't even to look at anything else. Okay? My answer is B. Why? I don't even have to look at the rest. Because I did the smart thing by going to the bottom. Okay. All right. So far, we have only done multiple choice questions. We haven't even gone to section B yet. Okay. But these are the tough questions. So I'm going to go through one more. 
okay and we might have to see the answers to the rest quickly okay because it's going to hit four in three minutes but we still have time every one minute you can do one question right one minute is 60 seconds so let's not talk too much kelly tested three types of string okay now the string is here let's use a red color because here let's look on the right hand side can you see me coloring the string now these strings on top is very important because this string on top can hold together 5 kg. This string together can hold 5 kg. This string together can hold 5 kg and can hold 5 kg. So which of the string can hold 5 kg? Only T, right? The rest will break after hitting 2 kg and 3 kg. So only T can hold 5 kg, which are T. Very straightforward. Okay, this is what I mean by determining only based on the S, T, and R right on top. So I highlighted the top part. We don't need to determine below. Okay. Of course, if there's a lot of confusion, we can make it tougher by saying T. You see, at least T is holding 4 kilo. It's possible, right? But the top is not possible. Here, S can hold 1 kilo, possible. So you can look at the second part later. But the first part is the most important. And that should give you the answer. You can double check it by looking at the second string, whether it can support according to the data given or the table given. Okay. Those of you who have a lot of things to do at four o'clock, you can leave. Okay. But I'm going to complete my MCQ at least. Okay. So then we can look at the answers for um, structured questions later. Okay. Fourteen. Now this distance, again, I'm going to pick up what is the important thing that you guys may have not realized. Okay, the distance, the smaller the distance p, the more the flexible it is. Smaller distance means more flexible. Why? Because it can bend lower. So the big p. So smallest distance p is this one. Is the most flexible okay so based on his result which material is the least flexible opposite the one which is the most distance that means it cannot even that means it's very high up it cannot so it's the least flexible so therefore answer is so you cannot go directly and just see the graph and say oh x is the most flexible no it's the opposite actually because based on the distance you're going to find this distance p what are they referring to okay answer is x okay ah open-ended question we are here and we reach four o'clock already how many have time to just have a quick look at the answers Actually, there are a lot of questions, so I'm not really, I know you can stay here for another 10 minutes. Those of you can stay here for 10 minutes, just stay. Those of you who really need to leave, you're welcome to leave because you can download the answers from the website later. Okay, so let's move on. 16, study the flow chart again. Now it's not MCQ. Name the materials X and Y. Which one do you go to first? Go to the one that is after this because it answers two questions okay there so this is why why is is it a natural material yes so it's a natural material does it sink yes and sinks okay you need to find a natural material like what are the natural material to talk about leather metal rubber and so on and you must think okay these three can fit into the y how about x x is not a natural material not natural so is the rest okay so is man-made all other materials man -made can be x you just cannot put natural material here all other materials can be put under x okay there's wood as well here So you got your answers.
write a suitable question for one in the flow chart okay this is the difficult part huh? again difficult so you need to have a no this question here you need to have a no for the cotton and a no and a yes for iron and rubber so we just talk about a question where it will be okay it must it doesn't matter about the top actually it doesn't matter but obviously it must be a here is man made right here what it came through so it must be natural and all that but it doesn't matter because we're going to look for a question only not the answer of the flow chart so question you must answer a yes for iron and rubber the question must be a yes for iron and rubber because iron and rubber are below the yes you must answer yes no cotton so how are these two different based on cotton is what is flexible but rubber is also flexible so flexible cannot okay uh, does it see uh, is it absorb water ah it does not absorb water here it yes okay so is it waterproof maybe you can say is it waterproof ah finally you see we talk about water then we talk about if you say does it absorb water it's the same thing but is in the negative way then you say does it absorb water yes for cotton but here is no for cotton right so therefore you can choose this you must choose is it waterproof it's the same thing the same property but we ask, have to ask a question in the opposite way so this is important to realize some of you talk about first you have to decide the property after that you need to know how to ask the question and then there are two questions you must this versus this question one or question two both question relate to water absorbing water so it's about how you are does it absorb water or does it not absorb water and if it does it not absorb water then you say is it waterproof that's all okay now this question tada we are very familiar with it we can skip it you can see the answers later i'm going to go to the next one this one it absorbs water again okay you put p q r and s and it absorbs water different amounts of water you can see on the right p absorbs a lot of water and q doesn't absorb any water so this one is waterproof q is waterproof based on this right i'm using experimental evidence to say p absorbs all the water q doesn't absorb so q is waterproof and r and s they absorb different amounts of water alvin would like to use one of the materials to make a water bottle and water bottle must not absorb water you can either say oh okay absorb a little bit of water then your water bottle will get wet all the time because it's containing water so it must be completely waterproof therefore answer is q because it is waterproof from the data given okay so this is about finding out from a diagram the property of any material that is given okay if it is waterproof then they ask you to explain in your answer a lot of you forget to explain you get two marks you only say q you get one mark you forgot to explain because it is waterproof so it can stop you know it is even if you just say it is waterproof is not explaining it is still stating not enough you must say so that it can store water in the water bottle without absorbing water without getting wet so i need to explain for you explanation is different from stating now this is a interesting question it's about people dining under water of course you cannot dine in water so you have to keep yourself dry so they have a glass which is waterproof but it is also transparent so you can actually see the sea life or marine life okay so based on the chart describe the property of material q material q is definitely glass it has to be strong it has to be transparent describe the properties okay and so on but here they say based on the chart based on the chart based on the chart now based on the chart 
describe the properties of material Q, not X yet. So we're not talking about glass yet. Okay, so don't jump to the conclusion we're talking about this. So always read the question. Q is here. All you have to do is it answers a no question and a yes question. So it's actually going from here, 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 and then ends up at Q. Can you see that? In the exam, try to draw this kind of line so you know what are the material. So it does it absorb water? No. So it, it absorbs, does it absorb water? No. Right? So it does not. Am I wrong? It does not. Does it break easily? Yes, and it breaks easily. Okay. Now you got it. So you see, the answer is does not. Okay, so that's all for that one. Sally said material S is the most suitable to make part X of the underwater restaurant. Oh, now we can talk about, oh, it needs to be strong, it needs to be transparent, and so on, right? Can we find where is S? S, S, S here. Sally says, let's choose S. Do you agree? Give a reason for the answer. Now, okay. Does it absorb water? Okay, I heard uh, from uh, Pranshu. Just, just going to answer Pranshu now. Pranshu, the answer was wrong for which question? Is it this one? This one, describe the properties of material Q. Material, does it absorb water? No. So, it does, it absorbs water. But it says, does it absorb water? No, it does not absorb water. Okay, maybe you can type to me the answer. I'll check it, okay? All right. Next one. Okay. So here, Sally chooses S. And you say, no, S cannot be because it does not. S does not allow light to pass through. Does it allow light to pass through? It's no. So it's not transparent. But we want a transparent. How, Sally? So we need to choose R. Okay. Okay. Final question. And it's for 10. Okay, final. Okay, final. Amina set up an experiment as shown to compare the physical properties of material. This is similar to the one where we saw a distance, remember? Okay, let me just draw a few questions ago. We drew a distance D. If the distance D is longer, here, that is more flexible. But now the distance D is here. Can you see there is a big difference between measuring here and measuring here? Okay, so now it changed, we measure here. So if this is a bigger number, then it's more flexible. Am I right? So that's the key part. Okay, it's more flexible. So we can look here, the mass of the weight and the distance 10 and 5. So the most flexible is the one which gives the highest, the most flexible. Okay, then C is less flexible. And B, distance cannot be measured as a strict broke. O is the word. That means it's not even strong, it's very weak. Can't even talk about flexibility. It's actually very strong. Uh, are very weak, okay? Okay, which strip A, B, and C is the least suitable to make the material bookshelf? Which material glass or rubber will be? Strip A be made likely, be likely made of, and finally thick. So we can have straightforward answers. Okay, strip B is the least suitable, and A is most likely made of rubber. We choose the most flexible material. One example of the most flexible material that we know from our Knowledge bank here. We just pick it up. Oh, rubber is the most flexible. Okay. And finally, tick the variable. This is to conduct a fair test. Fair test, you are supposed to change the material A, B, and C. Okay, so material or strip, you must change. These two must be unchanged. The rest must be unchanged. So you tick the unchanged one because the question says which one must I unchange? Okay. Anything else? So far, we went through a lot and we have the answer guide here. Those that we have missed out, the answers are here. 
and then we have the other answers here also which i will put up on the website so when you downloaded the homework it came as questions today or tonight or tomorrow morning when you download the questions it will be with the answers okay if it doesn't come by tomorrow just hang on okay it might take some time to go up tomorrow night maybe okay be patient but i think we have covered what we needed to cover okay see you guys in the next one and dash i know you needed some voting uh, just remind me next week when you come in early we will do the voting first okay the very first thing we'll do voting okay it's a voting game okay sorry about that dash today we didn't do it because as you know we needed to cover lots of questions maybe i should cut down more questions already i cut out so many questions and yet we couldn't finish okay but as long as you guys learned a lot of materials today so last week fungi bacteria today materials next week what shall we learn uh, you guys have my number you guys have my email you can just message me on my number last week i shared with you uh, it should be on the slides also you can just pick it up from the slides and just text me what are the things that you want to learn maybe i can organize a lesson that is more suitable for what you want to know you have a lot of questions on certain topics then we do that topic because we have the whole holiday i'll be seeing you every week like i say i promise you is that okay then you guys can also go to the website which is 88tuition.com to revise all the topics then maybe you get a better idea of oh actually i can learn all the topics here i don't have to come for the live lesson then you learn there and then you pick things that are not still not clear then you can come and learn on the live lesson so go to the website pick up the topics that you're not clear first then you come back here all right uh, why don't we have a session where we show a project that you give us yes that's a good idea dash we will i already written it down who wants to see see i've written it down in my book what are the things that i need to do for from from all of your suggestions thanks dash i wrote in dash wants to do a project and present it and uh, colin wants to do magnets and so on and so forth and then we still have this idea of super marvel marvel heroes hopefully okay take care bye bye